Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today we're going to be taking a look at some keyboard shortcuts that you can use with your Mac computers. Let's get started. The first shortcut we're going to be taking a look at here involves the command and the tab key. Now what this is going to do is allow you to navigate through your open and running applications. So we've got a few of them open right now. So what we'll do is hold on the command key and then tap tab. It's going to open up a horizontal bar showing you the icons of your open applications. Now to navigate through them you just tap on tab and when you've selected the one you want to open you simply release the command key. The next shortcut is going to create a folder on your desktop or within your finder window. So what you need to do is make sure you're on your finder window here or in your finder section from your desktop and then you want to press command shift and N and you'll see a new folder appears. Now as I said it will work in your finder as well so again command shift n and we've got a new folder. The next shortcut we're going to look at deleting files quickly. So to delete a folder you've created or a file all you have to do is press command and delete and it'll automatically move it to your trash bin. This next shortcut is going to sort of be tying into the last two we looked at. So in this one we're going to be deleting or removing everything from our trash bin. So what you want to do is press command shift and delete and it'll go ahead and prompt you with the are you sure you want to permanently erase the items from the trash now if you do you just go ahead and click empty trash now if you want to avoid that whole prompting and you just want to delete it quickly with the keyboard shortcuts what you need to do is press command shift options delete and you'll see that the trash bin is empty this next shortcut's a very simple one and it's going to be a quick access to the spotlight search. All you have to do is press and hold on the command key and then press the space bar and your spotlight search will open up above. The next shortcut we're going to be taking a look at involves the built-in dictionary. So if we open up Safari and highlight a word, so we'll highlight this one here, you press control command and the letter D and it's going to pop up with the definition to your highlighted word. In this next shortcut, I'm going to show you how to hide your desktop's dock. So what you want to do is press Options, Command, and D. And you'll see that the dock is hidden. Now to bring it back, again you press Options, Command, and D, and your dock will return. In this next shortcut, I'm going to show you how to use your delete button as a true delete feature. So we'll go ahead and open up a text editor here. Now traditionally when you press the delete button, it acts as a backspace button and it deletes everything behind it. Now true deleting, as most people know it, especially moving from Windows computers, delete actually deletes what's in front of it. So what you want to do to delete what's in front of the cursor, you press the function key and hold it and then press delete. Now you can see that every time I press delete, it deletes what's in front. In this next shortcut, I'm going to be showing you how to access the help features from different applications. What you need to do is press control, shift, and question mark, and you'll see you'll be able to quickly access the help section. The next two shortcuts here are very simple and probably the most useful. If you want to put your computer to sleep very quickly, what you need to do is press options, command, and eject and it'll automatically put your computer to sleep. Now I can't show you this obviously or I'll lose my screen recording, but that's simply how you do it. Also, if you want to quickly log out of your computer, all you have to do is press options, shift, command, and Q, and it'll go ahead and log out. Anyway guys, that's it for the keyboard shortcuts for this time. If you guys found this helpful or enjoyed it, don't forget, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this one as well as more tech videos. I post them Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and leave any shortcuts you use in the comments down below too. It'll help others find more shortcuts to use with their Macs. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.